What is up, everybody? Oh, right here. We are back with some more Death Must Die. We are going to be rolling more of Lorien, my favorite class in the game right now, and probably my strongest. Here is our current build. I'm going to go over this super quick because we've gone over it a couple times before. Uh, we have strike damage, god offerings, rerolls, speed, attack speed, uh, piercing, luck. We go down the mark tree to get all the mark and mark damage. We are running extra 4% crit. We are running projectile bounce. And the bread and butter of this build is bask in greatness. Your attack critical hits uh, trigger a random strike you have three times. So chance for more powerful skills is diminished. Today we're going to be running another strike build, except this one's going to be more of a gimmick meme build. We're going to run a frost fire build. I'm going to run frost and I'm going to run fire. And we're going to take uh, breath of fire and I think it's like ice shards. Um, is it going to be the most optimized run? No, absolutely not. Uh, it's really not even going to be close. Because uh, if you wanted to do, if you wanted to do a really good run with this, um, you should probably do Earth Spike or Tornadoes. I think those are the best ones to run this with. But this is going to be just for funsies, uh, and hopefully we can clear. We're at Darkness fifty five, so. It's going to be relatively tough. We're not quite at the highest level yet, but we'll get there soon. Okay, so we're going to we're passing up on Earth Spike. Um, we'll take her too. We'll take her as our um third god, especially since we just got light rays at master. Um, we do have increased casting speed with this build, not a lot, but it is a little bit, so we'll take a few casts with this also. Oh, perfect. Frost. Let's see. Uh, World Freeze. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, but there's Earth Shard. Ice Shards at Master. All enemies gain a chill every few seconds. We have to take World Freeze, but man. Man, Ice Shards at Master. I'm going to take the Legendary, though. We'll just have to hope that we see Ice Shards at, uh, at a high level, too. Because enemies constantly being frozen is going to be nice. It's going to slow them down. Uh, we'll take, like, Shatter at some point, too. Um, okay, let's take... I think I'm going to take the Fire attack, though. We could take Dive to just get our dash out of the way. Let's banish Frost Wolves. Sure, let's take Dive. Again, this is just a funsy build, guys. But we are still doing... This is still... I guess it's not too funsy because this is still Darkness 55. Okay, let's do... Area would be... All of these are actually pretty good. We'll do just straight up damage. Everybody's gonna freeze so quick, it's awesome. Okay, let's reroll these. Okay, we can do whenever you dash, there's a chance of frost ring. What's the man, these are like the same thing. Your dashes throw ice shards, and then whenever you dash, there's a chance the that freezes enemies. Huh. Um I'm gonna banish that. I don't want to see that. And I actually am going to reroll. Where's my where's my ice shards at now? OK, we can take frost zone, though. We're going to build up cast and uh, strikes in this build. I need to get a strike quickly, though, either breath of fire or the, the shards. It's going to kind of turn into a machine gun. It's pretty funny. Because we're going to be shooting in them out so often. Yes. Okay, we don't want time. We don't want earth. Chilt... Jeez. Reduces the chilled stacks needed to freeze an enemy. Well, we're just going to... Everything's going to be frozen super quick then, right? Because they're going to take chill stacks, and now they need less stacks to be frozen. 
Now we just need to get some damage on these guys. Help you. Okay, never pass up on the fates. Um, we are going to... Actually, I don't really know if I want to reroll this. I'm just going to take guidance. I don't want to waste my rerolls. I want to save those to, for the strikes. I want to make sure I save my rerolls to get the to get some sort of high level strike. Why aren't we? We're not seen at all, are we? Um, I'm gonna banish dive. I'm just gonna banish that now. Uh, I'll take chilling strike. So let's take ch chilling strike. We banish our dive, so I don't need to level up my dive anymore. Uh, and then hopefully that'll increase our odds of seeing. Especially since we're pretty much full on frozen now, I might as well as just go into the ice. Uh, we'll take shatter too at some point, and then maybe everybody will just die from shattering. This is pretty much a full-on frost build. We have two legendary frost spells already. We're not doing a lot of damage, though, at the moment. That's why we need the strikes. Not like we're going to do a ton of damage with this build anyways. All right, let's do... Okay, here we go. Breath of Fire at Expert. We'll take that. Jeez, my eyes. <laughs> it's so bright. Uh, all right, let's keep going. This is good though. We're gonna keep doing breath of fire. This is this is what I'm talking about though. This is what we need. All right, let's do attack damage. Jeez, this is this is so bright. I was not expecting how bright this was gonna be. <laughs> this is so awesome. All right, uh, back to justice. Let's do more light rays. So if you didn't catch what we're doing, the reason we're building uh, strikes is because, again, uh, this item right here, every time we have a critical hit, uh, we're going to do three strikes. And then if we look at our build, um, I have a 4% global, and then I have a, about a 15% attack chance. On top of some of the other perks we have from here, like marked enemies have a 10% chance. So we do have a decent, <laughs> we do have pretty good critical strike chance on, on landing these. And since our projectiles are bouncing and piercing so much, we're almost, there's almost never a time when we're not going to be shooting out three fire breaths because we're, we're going to be con uh, critting just almost nonstop. Not every hit is a crit, but since we're bouncing off everybody, it's going to be triggering the crits. Just an insane amount. So it's always fun to try this build out with different types of strikes instead of always doing earth strike or earth spikes or tornadoes. Because I think those those are the best. Earth Spike is the best to build this with. Um, tornadoes second probably. Tornadoes are just really good. Okay, we'll do. Let's do. Let, no, let's keep going to Breath of Fire a little more. Then we'll do maybe some of the other secondary ones in a little bit. This is actually pretty fun. Just, <laughs> just absolutely incinerating whoever's in front of us. Okay, let's do... We can do chilling. Attack a little bit more. We still want to get... Um, I still do want to get um, ice shards, though. And then it'll rotate between ice shards and the fire because it picks a it'll pick a random picks a random one. All right, 
let's do Breath of Fire again. Um, I'm not going to sacrifice the blessing. I'm just going to take the general movement max. Yeah, real wow, really, you don't want to give me um your status effects deal more damage. We're gonna do icebound though. Mobilized enemies take more damage. I probably will only take like one or two of these, you know, and then banish them, maybe. Because ultimately I still just want to level up the strikes the most. Oh wow. Every second you gain experience for each unique status applied to an enemy. We have chilled. And we have, um, burn now, so. So we'll have at least two. So what else, what exactly else does that do? So every second gain experience for each unique status applied to an individual enemy. Um, 0.3 per status. We've already gained 33. Man, too bad we didn't get that earlier. We could have taken... Because, well, I don't think we can do any other status effects, really. We have Burn. We have... I don't really know if Lady Justice does any. I don't know if smiting someone or stunning someone counts as a status. I don't think Raze... I don't think Raze provides a status. Let's, um, let's... Let's do more Breath of Fire. Part of me still wants to alter and try to get more... To get that Ice Shards, but... If we just keep leveling up Breath of Fire, that's fine too. So how quickly does this thing gain experience? It was at 33 a little bit ago, now it's at 239. Yeah, look at him go. No, hit him. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty quick. He went down pretty fast. I'm gonna love trying out just all the different types of strikes you can do with this guy. Alright, let's do... Oh, we don't have Meteor Shower. Let's do Meteor Shower. True Frostfire build right here. We're an innovator of an innovator of Warian builds. If this does really well, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pleasantly surprised. I mean, it, it's doing pretty well. It's definitely not doing as well as like um, status effects last longer. That's probably a decent one, just because they're gonna be burned and frozen longer. I don't think we really need it though. Let's um. Reroll. Let's banish these. Banish Frostbite. Banish Frozen Treasure. I should have did that in the first place. Um, we're going to banish Shivers also. That's our last one. There's only... Man, there's only so many you can give me here. <laughs> there's literally only so many you can give me. I'm not full on strikes, am I? No, I have. I literally have one strike. All right, you gain attack damage for each immobilized enemy. Let's take that. Whatever. They're not gonna give me. They're not gonna give me ice shards. It's fine. It doesn't really matter because ultimately, um, 
As long as you, you just need one strike. That's really all you need, because one strike's fine. But man, I really wanted to get ice shards, but it's going to really refuse to give that to me. Just literally everything except it. Okay, let's do the thaw. Especially since we have, since we're going to be freezing so many enemies, uh, the attack power would be pretty nice, actually. Okay, let's do attack speed or damage. Let's do speed. Wow, we haven't seen her in a long time. Okay, let's do... Let's do protection. Have we really not... We haven't seen her in so long. Which is good, that's good, because I would rather see Frost and Fire over her for the moment. Okay, let's gain the max life. do we're not going to do fire elementals although fire elemental uh, uh, they might actually be good because every second um the more fires we spread the more they'll um the more they'll spawn but uh we'll just do breath of fire still we're just going all in on breath of fire since we're not going to get ice shards This is a really, this ended up being really fun. I mean, granted, we did get a bunch of legendaries in the beginning, so that definitely helps. Uh, yeah, let's just gain a level. Okay, let's do, your cast have a larger area for sure. I forgot that Lady Justice had this one. So that's going to mean more fire area for our meteor and for our blight. Well, it's not called blight anymore. I don't frost zone or something, whatever it's called. Um, so the reason we're getting so many of these two is um, I don't know if I showed this yet. Uh, I do have pretty I have pretty decent, decent offerings here, 11 percent and 45 percent. So that's why we have a couple legendaries and see some masters every once in a while like I have decent offerings because I think it's what is it my chest piece yeah so my chest piece gives me 30% legend offerings this gives me about 10% master then I thought I had another one but maybe I don't maybe it's just those two Okay, let's do... I'm going to do the damage to enemies because I already have pretty good life heal. Ooh, a fire dragon. Let's go. That's our third legendary. Just as I started showing off, like why we get so many legendaries here. We'll take a fire dragon, sure. Alright, we're... Oh man, we're gonna take Fleet Foot it too. Another legendary, back-to-back -back legendaries. Now we have four dashes. Ooh, uh, yeah, let's summon, or should we, ooh, or should we just do 10% master offers and hope that we get more legendaries? I just, I just got a summon. I don't need a summon. Let's. Okay, your strikes have smite or apply burning. We already apply burning most of the time, so let's just do smite. Yeah, 
yeah, we're we're not gonna see it. I'm pretty confident we're not gonna see it. Let's do frost zones. Let's do cast deal more damage. Sure, why not? That was a master roll right there, too. If, if you didn't notice. So that 10% is definitely kicking in. I would love to get inner peace here soon. We could get inner peace that would be awesome because inner peace i think gives you xp gains now and obviously it's just one of the best um one of the best legendaries in the game at the moment all right let's do let's get more armor let's just stack our damage to enemies Do the strikes again. Oh, we got frozen. <laughs> he froze me. Hey, uh, all right, let's do. I don't really, I'm not gonna put too much into my cast, do more damage. I only just want it like one of those. Let's go Breath of Fire again. Oh, we have five dashes now. At least for a while. Yeah, we're just gonna, this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do a Warrior series with every different strike in the game. This is so cool. All right, let's do. Oh, I was about to say, are we going to have six dashes? But no. Uh, Breath of Fire again. So we only need to level up Breath of Fire one more, and then we have that maxed out. There's Shatter. Um, oh, here's Ice Shards. <laughs> I don't... Okay. I would love to take Ice Shards right now, but there's no reason why I should take it, because... It's going to be a level one novice at this point. Um, I don't want to do, I don't want, I don't want to do when we get the crits to shoot out three random ones. I don't want it to be ice shards because ice shards is going to be incredibly weak right now. So unfortunately, we're just not going to take it. Uh, it. It's too late. It's too late to take ice shards. My breath of fire is almost level 10. I don't want to have it randomly do ice shards instead of instead of breath of fire. Um, we'll take one level of sh nine percent life. That's not a lot. We'll just do thaw. If it was, I think it mastered it's like it or expert or master. I think it was at like eighteen or twenty percent. That would have been much much better. But I think we're just kind of gonna commit to what we have right now. So again, I don't want to take any of those, so we'll just take the resistance. Um, let's do the... Area could be fun. Let's do area, sure. That'll increase our blight and our... Oh, that's actually a decent size. These single target enemies are the hardest ones, obviously, because... Um, 
we need we need uh, a lot of enemies to crit, you know, so we can uh, always trigger our attacks. So if there's only one person we're hitting, it's tough. She's almost there, but we're almost dead too. Okay, there she goes. Close one. Uh, she's the hardest boss in the game. Uh, now that we've beaten her, though, we should be able to clear out the rest of this. I think I do have one revive, though. Yeah, I still have one revive, so we're safe for now. Uh, the final boss, he can be maybe a little hard, but the only thing the only thing that's tough about him is if we get caught in his fire. Uh, other than that, he's pretty easy, but if you get caught in his fire, he can melt you super quick. Generally, that insect queen is the hardest boss in the game, though, I think. Especially for, for me, because I am I need I need a lot of enemies on the screen. If there's only one or two enemies, it's not that good. Okay, I'm going to alter this. Okay, let's do Breath of Fire to 10. Okay, we'll do the strike one or possibly crit. So 33% strike area, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're shooting off basically off screen now. I didn't think it would be that much of a difference. Holy cow. That's ridiculous. That was only 36% strike area. It seems like it tripled it. Right? We're shooting the entire screen now. We weren't really shooting the entire screen before. Um, Let's do some life. I'm going to do the life. Gemini is probably pretty good, but... I don't think we need it. Okay, we'll stack the damage on full health enemies. Okay, this one will do burning enemies leave fire. Now we're gonna start getting all the all the additional fire ones like combust and incinerate. We'll start taking those. Oh, here's another good one. Let's get range again. What did we get? Strike duration. Uh, I don't know what that's gonna do. Okay, we can do let's actually alter these um, okay, let's take more protection I love okay we can do more chilling attacks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take ice spikes at all, even if it shows up, or ice shards, even if it shows up in master. Cause it's still gonna be level one. It's just too low at this point. It would have been nice to level them both up kind of concurrently at the same time. Painted amulet. What's that? Damage and luck. I think I've seen that before. Okay. 
these ladies are gonna be tough. Because again, they're they're the only ones on the screen at the moment. Okay, let's do combust. These ladies are always hard. There's no other enemies show up on the screen with them. And that's our our worst nightmare is one on one battles. This is kind of why we take justice too, so we get a um, a little bit of that protection. We didn't. We hardly got any. It's crazy how little justice we got, though. I think I only have maybe two levels in light ray, and um, a couple levels into protection, and I think that was it. We didn't get. We didn't get our divine shield. That, those were really the only three I would want, and then obviously her legendary. She has some of the best legendaries in the game. protection. We're actually surprisingly not as high a level as I thought we'd be too. Um, let's do more health. We're only level 39. That's not bad, it's like, that's not... I just thought maybe since we got that XP, uh... Okay, we're just gonna take the resistance again. Since we got that XP of Legendary, I thought we'd get a little bit higher. Maybe if we had more status effects, but we really only have two. Oh, there's Inner Peace! Now you show up! <laughs> now you show up! Extra life regen, and then experience point per life. <laughs> 1.5. Now you show up. Alright, where's this boss at? Oh, see, there's his fire. Alright, well, we got a flamethrower too, buddy. His is a little bit better than mine, though. <laughs> Alright, where'd he go? Alright, you're dead. Cool, and we didn't need our revive. Oh, no! Okay, we have to drop... How did we get this? Why is this dropping in... <laughs> Why is this item dropping in tier in Act 2 55? Uh, okay, we're gonna drop. Probably drop that. So I guess we'll just go over our gear now, too, since we're here. Um, three summon count. Um, yeah. Uh, XP gains. You deal more damage to elites, evasion. This is a, the Caterpillar. Um, 50 life. When you get hit a number of times, gain armor, lose movement speed, and become unable to attack for a short duration. But we gain 4,000 armor? Oh my gosh. Uh, that's cool. I know, I think I know who you put this on, too. Um, 4,000 armor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a light armor, though. Oh, no. Oh, I was going to say, like, I was going to say Averon, because Averon gets attack, um, gets attack power per 100 armor you have. 4,000 armor would have been huge. Oh, but you can't attack. You're unable to attack. Okay, I, I we'll have to find a reason for that one. I'm sure it's there somewhere. Um, I know there's, oh, this is probably maybe Maris. Because who else would... What other light character would use this? Um, the only thing I can think of is Maris. Uh, with, like, a summon build. Because she even has a no-attack summon build. So maybe... 
Uh, okay, so we got a regular mythic there. Trigger a meteor shower. Extra strike. This one could be pretty good. This one might be... Yeah, it might be. I don't know. This one's no. I don't think this one's better. Strike area is kind of interesting, but it's not a lot extra. But it does have life regen, which is always really good. And then, but it has slightly less damage. Oh no, I guess that's a lot. Twenty-one percent less damage. Then we got this unique one. Uh, yeah, nothing. Oh, that's a lot of damage. 56 extra damage and then five or eight percent extra to bosses. Oh my gosh, we still can't pick that up. What do I need to drop? Um, what do I know I would never use? This one, I mean, this one I probably would never use. Summoning like a summon build on Lorian. I mean, I, I think I might keep it just to kind of. Just to kind of see, see where that goes. Um, what is this? Critical chance, but that's for Avron. That's not really a great sword for him. I guess I'll probably just drop these and then just pick up this one. All right. Well, there we go. That was um, 17 million Breath of Fire. That's not bad. 8.2 million Chilling Strike. Whatever strike we put was probably was obviously going to be the highest DPS we got by far. So that was fun. That was a fun build. How many legends are we to get? One, two, three, four. We got five legendaries. Man, if only we would have got I want to enter peace so bad. If only we would have got that at the beginning, we would have. Um, we would have we would have gained so much experience, so much because I was at full health for so long. It's so easy to stay at full health with that character other than outside of a few fights. For the most part, you can stay at full health just because I have. Um, like I said, because I have like just this one single item right here, life regeneration, and then uh twenty five percent to heal one heal one life on kill. Because we kill so many. Some of these are interesting. I'll have to go through these and see what we want. All right, everybody, that's gonna be it. That ended up being way better than I thought it was gonna be. Absolutely <laughs> crush darkness fifty five. We could probably do. I mean, this build could probably do up to well higher, too, even with just this scruff strike build. Uh, it's the strike build itself isn't scruffed. The one we did is, though, with Breath of Fire and all that frost. Definitely not like a high DPS build and definitely not the most optimized way to play this, but it was still pretty fun. And we cleared Darkness 5 relatively easy. We struggled a little bit on the insect boss. But that was really, I think, our only time we were in danger. For the most part, we we killed the boss relative. We killed all the other bosses relatively easy. We killed the other little insect ladies. Not the easiest, but we did kill them without really threat to dying. So other than that, I mean, it was a really pretty successful run. All right, everybody, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.